Josh Rosen and Sam Darnold will hear their names called early in the 2018 NFL draft after both decided on Wednesday to declare early, and there's a good chance they're the first two picks. These highly touted quarterback prospects are extremely close in their ability, which has led to a fascinating debate regarding these two that will continue over the next few months. There appears to be a 50-50th split on which quarterback is favored by members of NFL scouting staffs and draft analysts. So let's compare and contrast Rosen and Darnold. Delivery Rosen has one of the most natural, textbook releases among quarterback prospects I've scouted. There's no wasted motion, and he typically throws the football from a wide, steady base. His delivery is so fundamentally sound it make his fastballs to all portions of the field look effortless. Darnold's delivery features an elongated, looping motion. The ball actually points toward the ground as he's winding up to release it. His rather unorthodox release led to some fumbles in the pocket and, maybe more importantly, passes taking an extra half second to get to its intended target, which result in pass breakups and, in some cases, interceptions. Games against Ohio State and Washington State provided the clearest examples of the problems that can arise from Darnold's release. Arm strength I'll keep this short. Both quarterbacks have arms that would be categorized in the upper half of the NFL. Not Matt Stafford level, but certainly not limiting in any way. As mentioned, Rosen makes firing a rocket across the field look effortless. Darnold doesn't strain his body to throw the football, yet it's almost surprising to see how fast the ball comes out of his hands on a routine basis. Whether it be launching the ball 55 yards downfield, which is essentially the maximum you'll see on a deep shot in the pros, to a long throw across the field from the far hash to the sideline, Rosen and Darnold unquestionably have strong arms, and neither is clearly more powerful than the other.